And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to build an airport. I got contacted by Heck Lick from uh, the Philippines and he's asked if we could uh, build him uh, RPMD, which is Francisco Bangoy International Airport. So, let's do it. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in next plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. So here we are at uh, Francisco Beng Bengoy International Airport. This is the uh, Google shot there at the beginning now i've got this sped up guys because this was an hour plus of work so just grabbing and checking different items in the uh, the list on the right there we just grab those if you find the one that you want it displays down as you can see in the window below there and if you're happy with that then you just click the plus button as you can see at the top there and they will add it to uh, the main screen and then you can rotate it and move it around as you like you can use the Q and the E's to rotate it and WS to move it up and down. You can use the uh, home and the N keys to move your, your view. And just go back and reference the um, actual airport itself as we go along. And you can use the page up and page down to uh, rotate around the view that we have here as well. It seems much easier to do it from above. So and I'm working from the right here. I'm working on that building that was very much to the right, then moving across to coming over and have a look, find something that is going to work well for the um, the main terminal. Now this is quite a complicated terminal and as with all my airports, all I'm trying to do is to give me something that is representative because I don't make my own 3D objects. So I'm just searching through here to see if I can find anything that is going to fit the bill. But what I really want is a facade. And you can see me looking at some of the facades here. See how we can move it around? And you can add as many points as you like. So I'm just finding the corners and sitting the corners there and then adding the little plus with the dot at the top there. That allows me to add another point to it. And that allows me to go around complex or fairly complex uh, shapes. And you can see me just dragging it around, trying to cover the points. Because this actually has a probably a several layer of, uh, of roofing on it, which gives it that really nice shape. But what we're trying to do is just give us an airport that we can arrive to that looks something like the, the real airport. And it's con convenient that it has lots of little straight edges. So we can just follow that around. And you can see that the, um, the facade just modifies itself. It takes away those square pieces that are on the outside, which are like entrances or exits, if you like. Um, if there's not enough space for them. So just keep clicking and it's good to work from left to right when you're doing this. It's such an easy way to uh, to give yourself fairly complex shapes and, um, and, and circles as well. You know, if you need to go around something that something can also do fairly well. So that came together fairly quickly. It's a single lever level. It does look something like um, the actual airport of the place. So the next part we're going to do is we better save it before we do something wrong. So I'm just saving it here. And uh, as I make this, I've just been contacted by uh, uh, Heck and he's uh, looking to download this. And it's been a couple of days since I last heard from him. So he might have disappeared. So anyway, um, and I don't mind doing this occasionally for guys. So if you ever want something built and you're not sure, um, it's always a good opportunity to make another video and just show you how to do these things. Now, uh, this is the air bridges. I was trying. These aren't the best ones. I'm sure there's some better ones out there, but uh, you can join all these pieces together, which is what's really important. But you do have to have a look in the specs, which I didn't do with the initial build of these because they turned out to be too high. They're actually uh, above the ceiling level or the roof level of the terminal I just built. But then I, I delete those and go back and build a few more. And what you can do with these guys as well is, um, like any Word document, you can Control-V and Control-C, copy, 
and if you click on them, hold down the shift and, uh, oh sorry, hold down the control and click on a number of components, you can copy the whole whole thing and then move it across. So I'm just trying to join this up and I want something, so you can see it's too high. Um, I, I failed to look at that, but when you're looking, got the old God's eye view there, um, you don't always tell. So I did the last little bit, then thought to myself, hang on, no, this is too high, this is not going to work. But you can see how you can put these things together. And uh, I just looked a little bit further up the list of the air bridges and was able to find some that were a little bit lower. So you can see how it goes together. It's pretty simple. So I've gone with, whoop, that's the right height. So I'll keep that one and I'll find a few more of the same height. And you can just stitch them together. You can rotate them around. And remember, they rotate around um, the little red dot that's in the middle of the screen. So that's where they appear when you hit the plus button they come down and you can just stitch them all together and that doesn't look too bad does it so you can arrive there with your 737 and uh, and you'll have an air bridge to come and park next to and I like to do these just to put them out and I'm as I say I think there are some better ones available but I'm just looking for air bridges it's it just depends on how people name items within a, um, a library sometimes they give them slightly different names and it's a bit harder to find so we now have a terminal, we have that building on the right, now we have this one on the left to do as well, and uh, we also have another one that I'll be doing in a moment, um, and again just have a look and see if there's anything that sort of fits the bill, that's roughly the right size, roughly the right shape, um, you know no one expects it to be perfect unless you're going to go into GIMP or something like that and produce your own 3D objects, would love to do that but um, just honestly don't have the time so quick we go back and have a look now there we have the um, we need two components there we need a, a lower component for the um, probably the admin building or whatever it might be there and then the tower to go above it and uh, there's a whole range of towers different heights um, there's some fully complete ones um, if you have a look at um, one that I did and again I'm, I've gone back to the facade again because it seemed the most convenient way to do it with a few little uh, angles. There's some little corners there as you can see and we're just dragging it around. If you drag them across the previous ones um, it doesn't like that much and it gets a bit silly on you. But this is uh, pretty quick. So I say this whole video actually took about an hour. I just recorded the whole lot. We go back, we're just checking it out. Checking out what's around and uh, I didn't like something that I'd done there so we went back to squaring it off a bit. I was trying to round off the corners here, but uh, maybe I need three points and a round point in the middle that's nearby to be able to do that. So I chose just to make a couple of uh, short straight ones there. See, I couldn't get it to go around. But the round tool is very handy, especially when you're doing taxiways. You put a couple of points and uh, one in the middle and you can round everything off normally with that. So. I'm, I'm still a bit perplexed why it didn't work so well, but it doesn't look too bad, does it? So we need to have the tower now. So we've got to go find a tower. And you want one that's got a bit of height. These probably wouldn't be too hard to make in something like uh, in GIMP or whatever. But there we go. We have uh, an admin area. We have a tower now. So at least that's sort of representative. Just looking at a couple of other options to see if there's anything else that worked out. They don't. And you also see a lot of the other items that might be available. I looked at that one and then thought, no, it's, the scaling is wrong. So now you've got to allow for that as well, a bit of scale. And, uh, and then what we do, we had a look. I realized it was in the wrong place, there, so I, I moved it again. This is what you do when you're in a hurry. You realize, oh, hang on, that's the wrong building. But, uh, you know, it's all really easy to do, so it takes a, takes a few minutes. And this one needed another little small building. You can see how useful these facades are. If you're made, making buildings for a city, which I did with an Adelaide build, the Adelaide city, um, I've used facades in that in a few places as well. And again, it's just so that you have something representative. Now we're going to go down and have a look at building the fire station and get ourselves a few trucks and stuff there as well. So let's have a look. So we just zoom in because you can zoom in and out with the uh, the roll. Um, there's some already created uh, fire stations in there. So I've just chosen to go with one of those. Grab a couple of fire trucks. 
There's a couple of animated ones uh, available as well. They have the lights going and stuff. So I put that, put one down the other end there in case there's a fire when you're starting your jet up. There's another taxiway here. Now, if you need to put down um, your own pavements and stuff, you can do that. They're, they're like facades. You can just move them, drag them around. Here, I'm just trying to populate it so it looks a little bit lifelike. So we put some uh, uh, cargo containers around the place, um, put a few vehicles around the place, a few trucks maybe. And you can go pretty mad with this, but you do have to be a little careful. You can get caught out by having too many items. See, that one works out pretty reasonable. It's a pretty similar size. And I've just chosen to grab another one and see if I can't stitch a couple together that might be a little bit closer because there's two different uh, buildings there so I don't want to make it one if there's actually two I want to have it somewhat close so there we go and I've just chosen to put another one on the end there so you just line them up and you can't see the joints guys they're really good to use so you can see there's also some aircraft and stuff there I can't remember now that it's a, a day or so ago when I did this where I put some aircraft there or not but um, See, it's very easy. Just have a look around you. The keywords tend to be uh, shed or hangar or um, you might want home. Uh, there's a few other ones that you can use as search terms as well. And when you do that, if you search, it looks into all the different libraries that you have available. So we're moving back across and you just use your mouse. You uh, hold down, I think it's the right button. Um, and uh, there's a couple of walkways you can see there too that go across to the, the car park area behind. And uh, I've just chosen to grab a few of those and line them up and then stitch them together to go across there. And I haven't seen this, so I hope, uh, heck, when you, uh, when you run this, mate, you uh, would be nice to, if you could give me a couple of photos from within the sim. Give me a couple of screenshots. And let me know if there's anything that just doesn't work out because I haven't got the Philippines loaded and I just haven't got the disk space to do that at the moment. So, because they don't normally fly there and I just fly around Australia generally and a little bit around the United States, which is um, which is pretty good. And, and on that as well, I've got another scenery developer out there, John. John's been out there creating a few uh, airports recently. He's been in contact with me pretty regularly and uh, he's been building a few airports and getting some stuff together so we might do a couple of flights and have a look at John's airports as well doing a really nice job for someone who's just started out and uh, looking to create lots of airports and be a bit of a, a developer there's a few out there doing it I, I noticed in my searching um, there's a Canadian group out there as well as uh, FRXP who do um, some of the aircraft that I've been flying the the older Robin so there's a lot of developers out there, people are putting aircraft together, putting scenery together, and John is one that's doing that. Uh, maybe you'll put a website together and make his stuff available for you guys so you can download it. So so here we are, populating the uh, the main terminal area. So when you arrive, it looks like there's uh, some action happening. The one thing you do have to be a little careful of when you're putting these aircraft down is... Um, there are generation places when you jump into your sim that that aircraft's going to turn up. You just have to check um, whether it's one of those particular points, you know. If you do, then you have to go back and just move it around. So, um, heck, if you find that um, you're being generated uh, on the tarmac and it's at where one of those aircraft are already parked and you're inside it, just let me know and I'll move it for you and stick it in another spot. So we put in a couple of fire trucks, petrol, uh, fuel trucks. There are a few food vans as well, guys. If you want to have a, uh, a food van parked up next to a static aircraft, you can do that. Um, here, just putting a few. It looks like there's, it's a bit of a transport or a bit of a um, uh, cargo area. So I'm just putting some, some cargo uh, containers down there. And we're going to go and stick a few cars in the car park over there as well in a moment let's have a look what are we looking for we're looking for some more oh, caravans I think so what are we doing and that more awnings I want to put an awning there because I could see one on the picture there's such a myriad of stuff here I'm grabbing some 
parking lines and just putting some parking lines into that because the textures may not necessarily have them it's not quite straight so again clicking on all of them and then I've done control C to copy and control V again post it it pops it back onto the uh, the red uh, guide marker or one side of it and we've put that back in there now there's uh, libraries you can grab there's sets of cars here there's 10 4 6 and 2 I think I've grabbed a couple of 10s and I think I'll stick a 4 in here in a second and uh, just just so there's some uh, some stuff about again you can go a bit wild with the cars but remember every item you put there is going to cost you something in an FPS if you put lots and lots of cars down there um, it can murder your frame rate so that's something you need to do remember what system you have when you're building and uh, if you're lucky enough to have a 1080 and, a, and an i7 7600k or whatever it might be uh, overclocked to a billion gigahertz um, not everyone's got that my system's pretty average so um, if it works on mine I figure it's going to work on most people so and here we go we stick a few people around got some marshallers some crews some security people um, we've got some FBI there so if you're a bit naughty the FBI waiting for you I think I'll stick an FBI guy over, over one of those somewhere man in a suit there's the FBI guy watch out for him he'll come and get you um, I noticed that they um, were actually embedded into the cement or whatever it is there so I moved the FBI guy out anyway so it's become a little more complete I thought to put a little uh, tow tractor there in ready readiness to pull that out and then a couple of spare ones over there <laughs> and I always like to put the tractor in if I can this has flashing lights and it's somewhat an animated so I put a couple of those in they're, they're cutting the grass aren't they that's what they're supposed to do now let's head back in just a few more items around now I've got a whole lot of these airports built guys so if you're interested in getting them you will they're all done here in ortho um, in overlay editor I should say um, so you will need to download libraries so um, I do have a list of libraries and I have a list of um, all the current airports that I have available they're all in one file so country airports in South Australia I've got a whole pile of those done uh, a couple in New South Wales in Australia another state and uh, I think Victoria I've got Mildura done uh, in the United States I've got a handful of them around Florida because I was flying around there a little bit um, Miami International um, can't think of who else it was there's a few certainly if you would like any of those please just drop me a line uh, in the messages somewhere I get those messages and uh, after putting a bit of a boat here we're pretty much complete so we have our uh, Francisco Bangoy International Airport as complete as it's going to get for the moment I'll just take a few aircraft in so if you enjoyed that please feel free subscribe build some airplanes let me uh, and some airports and let me know what you're doing uh, really great to see what other people do as well if you want to share them share them on uh, let's fly VFR YouTube page and I will catch you all guys all again very soon catch you again soon bye bye let's make it as real as possible every fly subscribe like and leave me a comment look forward to hearing from you